Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can hear from the noisy tube amp behind me, today I'm talking about my tube amp. Well, actually a little tip for you Helix users out there. Now I love using the Helix with a real amp. I love the effects on the Helix. They sound really great in four cable method. I'm not a big fan of connecting the four cables for the four cable method. And yet the tone that you get when you do it is seriously worth it. Now there's one thing that you can also do, you can connect the Helix to the amp to control the channels of the amp and also other functions too. Today I'll focus on the channels. Now some amps have a jack connection, really easy, just plug that into your amp, use your TRS type cable into the Helix and you can change the channels. Some amps use MIDI, you can connect MIDI cables, again set up the MIDI instruction to change the channel, real easy. Now some Mesas actually have those connections, but my amp doesn't have that, it looks like a MIDI connection but it's their own kind of connector and the amp ships with their own pedal for changing uh, the channels and the EQ and the foot switch for the um, solo boost. Now I don't want to connect yet another pedal if I've got the Helix with me. This also applies to other pedals by the way like the Boss MS3, things like that. But I'm using the Helix, I want an all-in-one solution and it is there. I just didn't realize until I found the solution. There's a company called btpa.com, btpa.com, I'll put a link below. They make a cable which has that correct Mesa end and it goes to a stereo cable on the other end that goes into the Helix. And I was so excited to find this cable that I want to share it with you guys just in case you're looking for something like this. I'll also show you how to set it up quickly on the Helix itself. So first of all, let me show you how it works. I simply press the external amp button. If you look at the light behind me, you'll see it changes from red to green when I press the switch on the Helix. This is the Helix doing that. On the side note, some people say it makes a popping sound. It can happen if you switch between different wattages on the amp, and it can happen if you switch really quickly, but why would you do that, right? Just keep the wattages the same and just change as normal, and you should be fine. If there's any kind of weird noises that are a real problem, then it may be a bad tube, and you should check with uh, the company to have that looked at. But yeah, right now it's working great. There's no noise, just the noise of the tube amp, of course. But hey, analog sounds great. Let me take you to a close-up to show you how it's connected and how you program this. Okay, here's a quick close-up of the Helix so I can show you what I'm doing exactly. Here's the end of the cable. One says solo for your solo boost, and this one says EQ and channel. That's the one I'm focused on. Make sure you plug it into the back of the Helix where it says, it, where it says external amp. So I'll plug that in there. Actually just change the channel because it felt that being plugged in. Okay, great. Now all you've got to do is come here, press this uh, menu button with the three lines on it, go to Command Center, choose the switch you want to be the channel selector. So I want this one right here. That will be this switch here. It's already set up as you can see. For the command, just choose external lamp. Okay, pretty obvious. And for my amp, that's all I have to do. Once I've done that and press the button, it actually changes the channel on the amp. And if you want to, you can go in there as well and customize that and change it to uh, channel, whatever you want to call it on the pedal board. And of course, you can then move that around as well if you want to, you have this any way you want. And you can assign it to a preset or a snapshot. It's incredibly powerful. And when you press the button in, I'll show you on the amp itself. I'm pressing the switch now, and it changes instantly with no noise. It's really, really cool. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. I'm really blown away by this. With the four cable method and this cable, this thing is seriously powerful and controls my amp so well. I love it. And you can also send a feed out with an IR and cab emulation to the front of house as well. It's seriously powerful. And I'll explore more of this in the future. So please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, until next time, enjoy. Bye-bye.